Now in this example, we've got to prove that cosine of 4 theta is identical to 8 cos to the power 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1. And to do this, just put down proof and we'll take the cosine of 4 theta. It's much easier to take a multiple angle and express it as a single angle like theta rather than go in the other direction, try and prove this is identical to this. So that's what we're going to do. Now I can think of this as cosine of 2 times 2 theta cos of 2 lots of 2 theta. 2 lots of 2 theta would be 4 theta. And why have I done this? Well, you should know this identity. Cosine of 2a is identical to 2 cos squared a minus 1. Now if I replace the a with 2 theta, then we've got 2 times 2 theta here. And so it's going to be the same as 2 cos squared 2 theta minus 1. So that's what I'm going to do. We can write this then as 2 cos squared of the a, which is the 2 theta, minus 1. But then I can use this identity again, only this time a is theta. So we should know what the cosine of 2 theta is. Cosine of 2 theta is going to be 2 cos squared theta minus 1. But only this time we've got cos 2 theta all squared. So this is cos 2 theta, but we need to square it. Then we've got that minus 1 on the end. All I need to do now is just expand this bracket. And you should be able to do it straight off in your head, but what I'll do is I'll just write that out again like so. Just in case there is a problem, and then we have that minus 1 on the end. So, we'll put the 2, this 2 at the front, and expand out these two brackets. So we get 2 cos squared theta times another 2 cos squared theta. Well, that's going to be 4 cos to the power 4 theta. Then 2 cos squared theta times the minus 1. Well, that's minus 2 cos squared theta. Then minus 1 times the 2 cos squared theta is minus another 2 cos squared theta. And minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. Close the bracket off, and then we've got this minus 1 on the end. So, let's tidy up the bit inside the bracket. We've got these two terms can group together. We've got the first term, 4 cos to the power 4 theta. And when we group these two together, we've got minus 4 cos squared theta. Then we've got the plus 1 there. Close the bracket and the minus 1 on the end. Now we'll expand the bracket here. And what we've got is 2 lots of 4 cos to the 4 theta. Well, that's 8 cos to the 4 theta. 2 times the minus 4 cos squared theta is minus 8 cos squared theta. 2 times the 1 is 2, and then minus 1 on the end. And you can see that we're basically heading towards the answer now by just doing the 2 take away 1, which is going to give us 1. We've got the answer that we were asked to prove. Just put the plus 1 on the end there. There you go. Same as that up there.